Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. In our previous video, we have solved a master numerical problem on balancing of several masses revolving in different planes. Today, we will solve another numerical problem which is more frequently asked in various university exams. Before we proceed, I request you to press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when I post a new video on this channel. So let's get started. Let us take a quick recap on the various prerequisite concepts that are required to solve this problem. This is the classification of balancing of masses problem. We are under balancing of rotating masses, under balancing of several masses rotating in different planes. These are the two conditions that are to be satisfied so that masses are in dynamic balancing. The first condition to be satisfied is that the resultant centrifugal force must be zero or in other words the force polygon must be closed. The second condition being the resultant couple about the reference plane should be zero or in other words the couple polygon must be closed. We are going to use these two conditions in order to solve the numerical problem. For easy reference, let me list out five step procedure that can be used for solving dynamic balancing problems. The first one, we have to draw linear and angular position of the planes by using the given data. Then we need to choose the reference plane. Then we have to tabulate all the forces and couples values. Using the tabulated values, we have to draw couple polygon and finally force polygon. Using these two polygons, we can determine the unknown values. Shall we move on to the numerical problem? This is the problem description. A, B, C and D are four masses carried by rotating shaft at radii 100mm, 150 mm. 150 mm and 200 mm respectively. So they have given radii of rotation of masses R A, R B, R C and R D. The planes in which the masses rotates are spaced at 500 apart. So assuming that this is my mass A, B, C and D the spacing between the masses are given as 500 mm. And the magnitude of masses B, C and D are 9 kg, 5 kg and 4 kg respectively. So they were also given mass MB, MC and MD are given. What we need to determine? We have to find the required mass A, M A, and the relative angular settings of all the four masses so that the shaft must be in complete balance. So we need to determine the relative angular settings of all the four masses or in terms of angle, let us say theta A, B, C and D, we need to determine. So these are all the record data. Hope question is clear. As always, we have listed out all the given data. These are the record data. In order to find the solution, we will be using the five step procedure that we have highlighted. First, let us start with step number one, which is nothing but drawing position of the planes. Since four masses and their locations are given, space between A and B 
B and C, C and D are 500 mm apart that is given in the problem. So this can be done. Let us move on to step number two. We need to choose the correct reference plane. The thumb rule is choose the plane in which we have many unknowns as a reference plane. So in this four rotor system, we need to determine mass MA as well as theta A. Therefore, choose plane A as the reference plane. And as we are aware, any measurement towards the right of the reference plane is taken as positive. And towards the left, we take it as negative. So step number three, let us tabulate the centrifugal force and the centrifugal couple values. This is the table. So in the first column, we have plane, second column mass, then radius, m into r will give you the centrifugal force then we need to determine distance from reference plane rp which is denoted as l so centrifugal force multiplied by the distance we will get the couple value mrl how many planes are there we are having four masses a b c and d Mass A is the reference plane, planes A, B, C, and D. In the given data, except mass A, we know all other masses. And also, we know radii of rotation of all the four masses. So, do you know MA? We do not know. So, let me call it as MA. Do you know the radius? Yes, 100 mm, which is nothing but 0.1 meter. How can I find centrifugal force? Multiply m into r. I'm getting 0.1 into ma. Now, what is the distance from rp? In this case, plane a itself a reference plane. Therefore, distance of plane a from reference plane is 0. L is equal to 0. Then what will be the value of couple? Multiplying column number 4 and 5 mr into l i will get 0 again i hope it's clear now we need to repeat the same thing for three remaining masses now let us move on to mass b do we know the value of mass b yes 9 kg given radius 150 mm so multiplying them i will get 1.35 now we need to find the distance of plane b with reference to reference plane the distance is 500 mm mr into l 1.35 multiplied by 0 0.5 0 0.675 kg meter square same way we can complete for mass c mc is equal to 5 kg rc is equal to 150 mm multiplying it i am getting the centrifugal force due to my mass c what is the distance between plane C and reference plane? 1000 millimeter or 1 meter. We get couple as 0 0.75 kg meter square. Finally, MD is given as 4 kg. Radii of rotation is 200 mm. So multiplying m into r, I will get 0 0.8 uh, centrifugal force. Now, the distance from mass D and reference plane is 1500 mm or 1 1.5 meter. Couple value as 1.2. So, we have tabulated the data. Knowing the magnitude, we can try to find the angular position of the masses by drawing the couple polygon. So, using the data tabulated there, let us draw the couple polygon. We know that couple polygon is a vector diagram. We need magnitude as well as direction. So before that, we need to take a suitable scale. I chose the scale 1 centimeter equal to 0 0.25 kg meter square. Let us start a couple diagram arbitrarily from any point, say from O dash. Since couple value for mass A is equal to 0, it will lie on the same point. 
couple values due to mass b mass c mass d are known in magnitude we do not know their direction but what we can do we can assume any one of the three masses b c or d as horizontal so to start with i will assume mass b is acting horizontally so theta b is equal to 0 degree so i know the magnitude 0.675 i know the direction what is that 0 degree so i will be drawing a line towards right b dash now let us move on to couple due to mass c we know that it is 0.75 do we know the direction no now let us try to draw couple due to mass d we know the magnitude 1.2 kg meter square do we know the direction no we have two vectors whose magnitudes are known but directions are unknown but it is given in the problem that all these four masses are in complete dynamic balance so one condition states that the coupled polygon must be closed then only the system will be in dynamic balance how to draw the closed coupled polygon taking 0.75 kg meter square equivalent length as a radius o dash as a center by using the compass i can draw this arc similarly taking 1.2 kg meter square as a radius and b dash as a center by using the compass i can make another arc these two arcs intersect at a point by joining this intersection point i get the closed polygon closed triangle now the direction of the vectors b dash c dash and c dash o dash are important closed polygon means it will form a closed loop and the ends this should be the directions now how to determine the angular position of masses for that we need to draw angular position of planes so i can choose from any point say o we have assumed the position of mass b as horizontal so we know one value already this is the position of b from the coupled polygon we can understand that this is the direction of coupled due to mass c therefore i should be drawing parallel line from this coupled polygon to angular position of planes either by using the roller scale or set square combination we should be drawing the parallel line parallel to c dash o dash so this is the angle this angle we call it as theta c now how to get angular position of mass d we know that this is the direction in which couple acts therefore i will draw a line parallel to vector b dash c e dash e in the angular position of planes this is our mass d then measuring this angle i will get theta d by measurement theta c as 295 degree and theta d as 145 degree there you are these are two required data having completed the couple polygon what should be the last step the last step is to draw the force polygon by using the tabulated centrifugal force values and newly found three angular positions we can easily draw the force polygon before we start drawing the force polygon we should be taking a suitable scale so i have chosen 0.5 kg meter as 1 cm using that scale let me draw it i know both magnitude and direction for mass b i can draw that first so start anywhere arbitrarily can draw a horizontal line because 
the direction of mass B is horizontal. Now, what is the magnitude of mass C? 0.75. We know the magnitude. Do we know the direction of centrifugal force due to mass C? Yes, we know the direction. This is the direction. I will be drawing a parallel line. So I am getting this line. Its value is 0.75. Finally, we know the centrifugal force magnitude of mass D, which is 0.8, and also the direction. What is the direction? This is the direction radially acting outward. So arrow will be upward. So I will be drawing from point C a line parallel to this. Going by that, I am getting this. The end point is D. This is the arrow mark. The length of the vector will be equal to 0.8 kg meter. Now let me apply conditions of dynamic balancing again. The first condition of it says that the force falling in must be closed so that the system will be in dynamic balance. So we know that in order to balance it, this force polygon must be closed. That means I am going to close this. The closing side of the force polygon should be equal to this value. Which value? 0.1 mA. So let me close this by dash line. We know the direction. It should form a closed loop. So this is the direction. So measure this closing side. That measurement should be equal to 0.1 mA. By measurement from force polygon, I will take a scale and I will measure this distance and I will multiply it by my scale. I am getting this value. That value must be equal to 0.1 mA. I am equating with that. From this, I could get mass A value as 10.12 kg. Yes, MA value is obtained. Finally, we need to know the direction of mass A. Let me draw a parallel line from O which is parallel to vector DO. Now you could see these two are parallel. There you are. By measurement, I can get the theta A value as 165 degree. That's it. We have determined the magnitude of mass A and angular position of all the four masses. So we are done with the problem. As always, I am giving you a problem for practice for you to try at home and check your answer. Hope you found this video useful. If so, like this video, share it to your friends, subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon. That's it. Take care. Bye.